Okay, so the article I chose is by the Politics Watcher, and it's called Understanding Interest Groups, Advocacy, Advo <laughs> Advocacy and Influence in Democracy. So how it starts is it says, the interest groups play a vital role in shaping public policy and influencing decision-making decision -making processes in democratic societies. And it is and it is often referred to as advocacy groups. These organizations are often formed by individuals with shared interests, beliefs, or goals. It also says who work and collectively promote their agenda and they bring about change. And the artist and the artist goal, they delve into the definition and significance of interest groups and the political landscape. And so founded in 1871 as a recreational group designated to promote and encourage the rifle shooting, the National Rifle Organization grow, ha, had grown into one of the most influential interest groups in the United States with millions of the, the millions of members and the NRA advocates for gun rights, lobbies and politicians and to mobilize its supporters for protect protection and to defend the Second Amendment. This example also highlights the power and impact that the interest groups had on specific political public policy areas. The interest, the interest groups span a wide range of issues that go across environmental convers conversation, cons conservation, and civ civil rights to healthcare and education. Regarding the, for the, the focus of these groups, the aim is to shape public opinion, influence lawmakers, and it is ultimately to affect policy outcomes. They also achieve this through various means, which include lobbying, public campaigns, grassroots mobilization, and strategic alliances. By organizing and amplifying their collective voice, the interest groups can exert significant pressure on policy makers and ensure that their concerns are heard. However, the influence of interest groups had been a subject of debate, which critics argue that wealthy special interests hold disproportionate power over policymakers, this distorting the de democratic representation and favoring their own agendas. This concern raises questions about the balances between the interest groups of general public and the influence of well-funded advocacy groups. It becomes crucial for policymakers to con consider diverse perspectives and a fair, transparent decision-making process. So on the other hand, the interest groups provide an avenue for citizens to participate in the democratic process and have their voices heard. They, off they offer a platform for individuals to join, pool resources, and advocate for change, and as well as interest groups empowering citizens to engage in political divorce, di discourse. Edu they also educate themselves on policy matters and they active actively shape the definition of their society and sense of interest groups to con contribute to vibrant and participatory dem democracy dem democracy one of the challenges that is faced by interest groups is the the public's lack of understanding and of policy and politics the civic knowledge the civic knowledge is 
essential for informed decision making and as well as the uh, well informed citizen citizen re is crucial for healthy democracy so in conclusion inter interest groups complicate and enhance our representative democracy and they bridge the gap between citizens and public officials.